I feel like this journey is a, is a space for us to move into, to kind of like be able to see what we do outside of our daily context and be able to come back renewed, refreshed, and recommitted to uh, the work that needs to be done regarding Ashe. It's also a really amazing opportunity for us to dig deeper into the neo-folklore, which is the basis of the company and the repertory, so that we can have a better, more comprehensive understanding of the stories that we're telling, the histories that we are embodying, and the dance and the music that we are performing. It's, it's really special. Part of the work that I think we're doing here is fulfilling our individual parts of whatever ancestral promises we had, ancestral promises that we made. Dia usually says, you know, her ancestors talk to her and our ancestors talk to each other and that's what comes out of the work. So we're fulfilling ancestral promises. So you have to bring the hopes and dreams of whoever came before you, the people that are going to come after you, in addition to whatever it is that you see for yourself. <laughs> Hello, my name is Adia Tamar Whitaker. I'm the artistic director of Ashe Dance Theater Collective. We are a Brooklyn-based performance ensemble that is almost 14 years old. We specialize in dance and music from the African diaspora. We have received a fellowship from the Makeda Thomas Artist Institute in Trinidad and Tobago to study, do research, create a dance for video project, and also teach classes this summer. We need your help to get us there. Our goal for this residency is to study the Igbo legacy of resistance in Trinidad and Tobago as an entry point into retelling African stories of forced migration during the transatlantic slave trade. We're interested in the ways American slavery continues to impact the contemporary experiences of African people in the diaspora. The Igbos at this point in my life are very inspiring to me because wherever the Igbos went in the world, in the African diaspora or the continent of Africa, they always resisted the idea of being defined by someone else. They knew who they were, they stood up for what they be believed in, they fought for it, and they died for it. And so, Doing the type of art that I do um, that has a very strong Afrocentric base, sometimes it can get discouraging because it is very based on experiences, contemporary and traditional experiences in the African diaspora. And sometimes it can get discouraging because it's a very specific type um, of art genre. Um, and it's you go often times not really being recognized or rewarded for lugging tons of things through subway cars on hot days, on freezing days with babies and strollers and all these different things, but we continue to do it and I continue to, I've been doing this for 14 years and I can't see my life going any other direction. But at some point, we have to draw from the, the things that are inspiring, that inspire our art. I'm still a person of African descent living and surviving the diaspora today. I'm still a person that's very proud of my African identity um, and my African ancestry um, and what lives and dies for what I believe in just like the Igbos. We are trying to raise money for our round trip air travel, our food, our residency fees, and our classes while we are in Trinidad and Tobago. As our Shea Dance Theater Collective continues to grow and be a work in progress, we are extremely grateful for all of your love and support. Thank you for supporting our project.